Hey folks, let me show you how to fix your problem with your Samsung G9 Odyssey. And if you're running, in my case, a 3070 Ti. This in my case is the EVGA one. I have it installed right down here on my custom build that I'm doing. Anyway, as you can see here, let's go ahead and look at some of the icons. I'm getting max 1080 resolution. I'm working on getting it upgraded to Windows 10 11, so bear with me on that one. Let's go ahead and click over to screen resolution. Screen resolution is giving me only a maximum of 1080, 1920, 1080. And obviously that's not gonna do. I'm doing a full office build, so definitely subscribe for that. I'm actually gonna be doing two G9 Odysseys, but I only have one unboxed right now. I'm in a full remodel, that's why it's kind of looking a little rubbish, paint, all that kind of stuff anyway. Let's get back to the video. So how to fix this problem is we need to download the newest drivers, in my case, on my graphics card, but this is probably gonna be a similar situation if you have a different name brand graphics card. So I'm on EVGA's website, evga.com. I'm gonna find the drivers. So down at the bottom, scroll down on the bottom of the website, and it says get support right next to all their social media to the left of that. Right there, you're gonna see drivers and BIOS. Let's go ahead and click on that. Okay, then this menu pops up right here. What you wanna do, come down here to where it says family, click on the 30 series, which is the top one in my case. Yours might be a little bit different if you're using a different graphics card. I'm gonna click on the 30 series family choose OS, I'm gonna submit, and then it comes down right over here, release date, last September currently, Windows 8, 8.1 in my case, I'm gonna download it. Again, have to do this all over again for Windows 10 or 11, whatever I choose. So we're downloading right now, we'll fire that up, install that. All right, once again, when you double click on it, this will open up here, just a security warning if your computer does do this. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click on run right there. Go ahead and click on that, and then we see that this has popped up here. Now, if you are wondering, this is like a two weeks later, I was having issue with my computer, how to get a different hard drive in there with Windows 7. Same method applies, I'm just doing Windows 7 instead of Windows 8.1 right now. So now we're gonna go ahead and click OK here. And if you do get this warning, you might have to go to a different hard drive here. So in that case, I double clicked on the download and I'm gonna go ahead and change the file folder for where I have a little bit more room. All right, I chose the folder, and now it is going into that folder here. So we'll let that juice to 100%. All righty, well, to complicate things even more, this popped up, and it looks like I need to download Shy 2 Update Support Patches, and at least they're highlighted, so I can go ahead and click on those and download those. So let me go ahead and do that now. Let me click on this one, and it looks like that one's downloading now. And I clicked on the other one, but it looks like the same thing. Actually, it's not. They're both different. So if you do to get that, go ahead and click on them both. We'll download those and we'll get those running. All right, double clicked on that after it was done downloading. And now Windows Update Standalone is installing that or at least updating, searching the computer. Okay, we are back, finally, my goodness gracious. This has been a process for myself, but it won't be a process for you, as long as your windows are up and running. I had to do scheduled installs for Windows 7. I need Windows 10 for sure. Anyway, it kept telling me I had to download those one, two things, and it wouldn't work, and all sorts of nonsense, but finally I got past that after Windows did automatic updates over the last week. Anywho, now you have the option to Choose what you want to do, choose custom install. I'm going to go ahead and hit agree. You can do express, which is recommended, custom. Okay, we're going to choose the express install recommended. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Obviously make sure the hard drive you are installing to has enough room or you're going to get the air. So while this is installing, we're looking absolutely fantastic. And finally, I'm looking forward to actually getting full resolution out of this instead of stretched YouTube videos, etc. So I'll be back with you after this process here. Okay, now we have to restart our computer for the drivers to take effect. If you do not want a shortcut on your desktop, go ahead and click off of that. You have the option to restart later, but obviously I want to restart right now and get this computer rocking and rolling. Okay, it took about almost upwards of a minute before it started doing it itself. So it will actually restart by itself. It just took upwards about, about a minute before this happened here. Be back with you. And that is it folks. Now, a couple things to keep in mind is I'm gonna go ahead and expand it out to full screen. And that's as big as it gets. So it's not taken up. Obviously you can double click it 
and it'll go to a large video like this for YouTube watching that is. But I like to actually read the comments sometimes when the video is playing, if I'm trying to learn a new skill, DIY project, etc. But something you can do as well is you can flip it over to theater mode on YouTube and that would expand it but also give you access to the comments down here so you could read those comments, look at the description box, see what products they use, etc. That's what I really enjoy doing. Or if it's just like a visual video podcast, then obviously you can have it in default mode, expand it, have another tab open right here, and you guys get the idea. You could, you could double tab it. Let's go ahead and show you that here. So I could have a whole nother YouTube video over here on this side. And let's go ahead and shrink this one. I mean, you could have several videos. <laughs> so we have that one, whole one in there. Obviously my internet's a little slow here in the country. Um, so that is not HD quite yet. It's starting to get HD. So, I mean, goodness gracious, I could even shrink that and have a whole third video up here in different tabs. So productivity is top notch, highly recommended. And lastly, while we're thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and look at Windows resolution. And now it is 5120 by 1440 recommended. And that looks like it is the highest we could go. And it is right now on 5120, 1440, or I could knock it down to 3840 by 1080 if I really wanted to, but we're gonna go ahead and keep it as is. Also, if you don't have a monitor yet and you wanna get your hands on one, look in the description box below. I will go ahead and link the monitors. Also subscribe if you like videos like this, not to mention DIY projects. And also I'm gonna be building out a van on this channel as well. That's why I'm watching a lot of van life videos, not for full-time living, but you could if you wanted to. I'm gonna be weekend warrioring it uh, for, I mean, extended weekends. In the Colorado mountains, venturing out to go see my buddies in California. So stay tuned for those adventures. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.